Hey guys, Skip here. Uh, getting ready to start building, rebuilding, I should say, the Corvallis. Uh, been unsuccessful trying to trying to fix that front end there, but I do have a brand new fuselage and um, all the other stuff for it. I'll just use the original wings, but I've got everything else is brand new. Uh, but one of our one of my viewers out there asked, uh, where are you putting all these airplanes? Well, I figured I'll give you guys an idea. I've kind of got them set up now. They look halfway decent, so. Uh, Hold tight and we'll give you a look, okay? Please make it over through around here. I think we're going to go into the office first, and I'll give you guys a little peek here at how the office has turned out. We've got the uh, big 1700 Mustang hanging up here on the top side. Let's see if I can turn it around here for you. But uh, it looks pretty cool up there. I don't have a problem with these, these birds in here at all. Everything's off the ground, off the floor, and out of the way so I can walk around in my house. Here we've got the uh, P-47, uh, the E-Flight. It's the 1200 uh, model right here. And right next to it, the Big Brother. We've got the 1700 millimeter. And then uh, over here we've got, everybody's seen this one recently, the, uh, the little 1130 Corsair, the Hobby Zone. And then back here, let's see if I can get a better shot at this, I've got the, uh, well, that's a wall. That's the whole wall there, guys. And I've got... Uh, the Bearcat and the 1700 Corsair and the little Corsair there. And up here we've got three more boxes, one of which contains the parts for the uh, that Corvallis that you saw on the kitchen table. And the other one is a... <laughs> that's for uh, another day. And then uh, this one here, here I, I've still been dying to build, but I've got to pl find a place to put it and much less find a place to fly it. Uh, this one I don't think is, I'm going to need a big field with a long runway with no cars, but that's the YF-23. So we got that one, we got that one up there to go, I'm going to rebuild the Corvallis, we've got this stuff here. Uh, other than that, the rest of my room is, is pretty well, pretty well, nice, um, nicely laid out. Got an old power uh, sound system down there, I'm going to probably put up on eBay. It's a real nice Polk Audio 5.1. Uh, surround sound with speakers. There's two satellites missing on it right now. I've got them in the other room, but uh, Yeah, it's a nice real nice setup. I just don't use it anymore. I don't really need it uh, Back there. I've got a giant telescope um, Anyway, it's really kind of cool uh, Nice office setup. I paid 12 bucks for this desk guys at, <laughs> at Goodwill. I mean, can you believe this thing? It's awesome. Anyway uh, Let's walk into the living room here, and I'll give you guys a, a peek at what the the main part of the house looks like now and step into here and we'll give you a look at this corner here I'll see if I can get some more light in here for you guys hold tight for a second there we go and uh, let's see we've got one two three four five planes down here we've got the Spitfire we've got the newly built Mustang or newly rebuilt Mustang <laughs> Time built Mustang, third, let's see, fourth time built Mustang, first time totally rebuilt. And of course, we've got our uh, T28 Trojan sitting right there. Now, all these planes are pretty much just balanced, nothing's really leaning on each other, and they stay right there with the with the naps I got in the carpet. The noses uh, kind of stay right there, and, and everything just barely touches each other enough to hold them all in one place. It's, it's great. But if I tip one over, it's going to be like a domino theory. So, uh, we don't let anybody over in here anyway. Back in here, I've got the Zero, and uh, I built that one quite a while ago. I have yet to fly that one, guys. I, I keep meaning to, and I just haven't been, haven't had the chance. I've got so many planes to try and fly. I'm hoping the weather cooperates a little bit more this year. So, let's see. Well, over here, we've got the SBD Dauntless. Let's see if I can get in there a little bit better. Uh, got the Dauntless back there. I know it's kind of dark. Sorry about this. But uh, it all fits there pretty good. And, of course, the big YF-22 back there, uh, that's the LX model twin uh, with the upgraded metal grade uh, metal, metal EDFs. It's a uh, high-performance one, to, guys. That one really has some thrust. It's got like uh, 2,200 grams of thrust, something like that. 2,800 grams of thrust, I believe, something like that. It's, 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 an, it's an enormous. The thing should go vertical. And then we got the little F-22 that I uh, I built up and, and made it just like the ones that they've got out now. So, actually, actually mine's got the 3500 kV motor in it with a, a 60 
uh, I believe a 60 amp ESC I put in this one. Yeah, that thing flies great. I flew that already. Yet to fly this one here, guys. This is the um, my Venom, the De Havilland, and uh, I haven't put the Doctor Mad Thrust motor in it yet. I've got the Doctor Mad Thrust motor just like the uh, just like the one I put in the new 70 millimeter V2 uh, F uh, F16, but. Uh, <clears throat> It's, you know, of course, it's a 90 millimeter. Yeah, that one was a 70. Let's see, up the road here, we've got, um, then we got the Warthog. That's a 64. Now, that's been upgraded, too, with 12-blade uh, fans and and uh, 60 amp ESCs and, um, and the motors, 33, 30, no, I put 3,500 kV motors in these. And then I've got the Intruder up here. That one's yet to be flown. Uh, that's an 80 millimeter. That's a beautiful plane. I can't wait to actually fly this one, too. I've been dying to get this one up, but it looks so good up here. <laughs> It'll keep it looking nice for a while, right? And of course the F-15, the 64. Uh, I flew this one already. It flies great, guys. This one's a great one. Hadn't had as much luck, unfortunately, with the F-35. It crashed in on its maiden, and then uh, something let go when I, when I, after I'd repaired it, one of the elevators let go, and it did a real nasty spin down and crunched again. It's been repaired. It doesn't look half bad. Uh, it was pretty totaled. But I think it came out pretty good. Let's see, what else am I missing here? Oh, oh, stealth. That's why it's stealth. You're not supposed to see it. But yeah, this is my F-117A stealth fighter. This was a, a total kit build uh, right down to the components I put into it. I used a motor out of uh, from a, a Durafly Zephyr 70 millimeter. I just thought it sounded so cool on the Zephyr that this would be kind of cool. But it, it's a little bit of a disappointment. I'm going to have to put a better motor in it if I want to quiet it down. Let's see, what else we got? Oh, okay, up here next to the intruder, uh, we've got the original F-16 Fighting Falcon. That's the old 70 millimeter free wing version one. And side by side, right next to it, we've got the, the new one, the version two. And that's a 70 millimeter with the Dr. Mad Thrust, uh, all blade, eight blade, uh, all metal. Even the blade sounds wicked, guys. Can't wait to fly that one. Uh, here's my F-18 64 millimeter, and that's up here too as well. And that's all already already built with the uh, 12 blade system and 3500 motor. And the Icon. I have a famous Icon. I put this thing together out of parts I found on the internet because the plane had been discontinued at the time and I couldn't get a hold of it anywhere, find one anywhere. So I built one out of parts that I found all over the place. Took me about six months to get all the parts for it, but I did. And then the Gosshawk, 64 millimeter Gosshawk. It fits nicely up in the corner there. The door even opens, goes under it. People walk into this house, guys, and they don't really look at it as clutter. All of a sudden, their eyes just go up and they're looking around and they're really interested. And it's even my vet came here to give my dogs their shots. And I think he almost forgot what he was here for. I had He asked me so many questions. And then by the time he left, he was asking me if I'd, you know, if I could teach him how to fly. I said, sure. So, hey, how cool is that? Um, then down here, I've got a couple of grabs here that I'm going to you know, take with me all the time so I keep them, keep them real handy. Got the little free wing seagull there that I had on the other day. And right behind it is the timber. I've got the floats on it still. If the snow ever comes back again, we'll have some fun. Otherwise, with all the melting, up, I'm going to get water. And then I found a nice, comfortable, safe spot, easy, easy access for my... Uh, my new one for the tiger cat and the big bear here protects it from this way and the table from that way i can still see it uh you, you see i did put the decals on it guys and a uh, little little special touch here on the tail i just put the the marine marine corps emblem up on both sides of the tip of the tail just a little dressing uh, other than that i didn't want to gaudy it up with too many decals so i kept it kind of basic I almost just left this plane alone without decals, guys, because it was just so beautiful the way it looked. Except I thought for orientation purposes, it might be nice to be able to see something. And let's and see. Down here, here we've got uh, a case that I built. It used to be uh, a great big entertainment center, about you know, six foot long wide. It had another side on it with shelves and a, and a big, huge, big screen TV area. Well, it was an old thing from the 70s. So I, I took it down, and, and I only paid like, uh, I think, 15 bucks for the whole thing over at the uh, Salvation Army. And I brought it home, and I did some reconditioning. I cut the thing down, and then I did all the other cuts and stuff to make, make everything fit and make it look like 
like a regular piece of furniture and I refinished it and uh, uh, well there you have it I turned it into a uh, was going to be a gun case until I figured out that hey I needed a place for my drones so we've got our, our drones in here I've got the TBS discovery in there and uh, down here I've got uh, I've got my mini hex and the radio I use for for all my drones this radio use for all my drones and I just got the toy drone a couple of toy drones down here little little fun things I got a little, a little micro and I got my dromeda uh, I've got a hubs in somewhere and then down here I've just got my some components and stuff my FPV gear and uh, my, my hand warmer bag, a battery box, uh, my inverter, battery charger stuff. Um, that's about it. So let's see what else we got to show you here. Oops. Okay, Garmin. Stop. Got our Mr. Wolf protecting both of my bombers. I've got the B17 free wing side by side to the uh, P-38 by Flightline RC and let's see, oh, I missed one here didn't I? Missed a couple of them here. Here's my B-25 bomber that's uh, recently repaired it brand new in the box. I had that problem with the landing gear going up and the thing coming down and going wide open and <laughs> chewed two holes in my kitchen floor linoleum. No big deal, I gotta replace that floor anyway but um, it was amazing that the props didn't break. Those are still the original props. They didn't bust. They shortened a little bit. Uh, behind it there we see the Freewing F86 Sabre. And that fit back there pretty good. It's out of the way. You can see it against the, off the lamp. It uh, just, just fits there. Just fits there. Let's see what else we got. Oh, that's right. I've got a walk-in closet here, don't I? Let's, uh, let's see what's in here. Open Pandora's box. Uh-oh. Look at this stuff. Hmm. You think I got it bad, guys? We're done, though. I think I have totally run out of room. To go in here, we've got the little Prometheus P2. And, uh, you know, there's my little sport cub hangs. They're nice and convenient. I can grab them, grab them and go. Right below it here, I've got the, the full-size P, uh, was it the P2, P3 Prometheus, uh, the E-Flight. And right above it, I've got the, the Pitts. FMS Pitts biplane. Haven't flown this one yet. Actually, I'm thinking about selling it and using that space for something else. But my luck, if I sell that, I'll crash this one and I won't have a biplane. So I'll probably just hang on to them both. And then I love my uh, my Trojan down here. That big old Trojan with all the lights, buzzers, and bells, and Mr. RC sound, and the four-channel, five-channel sound I got in the thing with a couple amplifiers. It sounds awesome. Uh, up here in the corner, I got the F-15. Uh, 90 millimeter and she's waiting for a good place to fly um, Recently, I'm, I'm going to try and talk to the people up at Galt Airport That's a airport that's not too far from me here and see if they let anybody go out there once in a while and use the runway when they're not uh, when they're not busy and that would be a great place to try this out because I'm dying to get this one in the air I just uh, I, I can't do this one at the school I'm, I'm don't even want to take the chance on it with the field the way it is and you never know what how many cars are going to be in a parking lot when you land over there. So not a good idea there. Uh, I think that about covers it in this room, guys, in, uh, and in the office. So I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, there is one other uh, room that I've got in the back. It's just got a few of my gliders and stuff in there. And that's about it. It's got the Dragonfly, and I think I've got the uh, Durafly Zephyr in there. Uh, other than that, everything... Oh, here's one. Here's the last one I forgot. My uh, Raptor FPV fits nicely, conveniently right behind there. And out of sight is out of mind, but I can still see it, get at it. Everything I've got is easily accessible. It's off the floor, it's out of the way and out of harm's way. Uh, it's cool. I can even let my dogs in here and they don't, they, they don't bother nothing. So thanks for watching, guys. We will catch you later. Uh, I'm probably going to do, a, I don't know if I'll do a rebuild video on that Corvallis. I don't think anybody really needs to see that. But uh, anyway, this is, this is what I did with this uh, storage idea. One guy was asking, what do you do with all the planes? And, you know, give me, the, give me some tips on multi-dimensional uh, multi, you know, storage. And I'm like, well, this is about the best I could do, guys. Uh, other than starting to move into another room or, or using the garage space, which I had a plan of doing, possibly. And doing up the garage in there with a, like a pulley or cable system. Put them like, basically on fish line and... And you know, or on a clothesline, and just uh, go along and pick the ones that I want when I want to fly.
take them right off the hook. But uh, in the meantime, this is what I've done. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, have a wonderful weekend, and this is Skip signing out. Crash test dummies hopefully get together. I'm hopefully hoping maybe tomorrow, but we'll have to see what the weather does. It's been really crummy. And uh, you guys have a great one. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. It's free. And uh, if you like this, give it a thumbs up. Appreciate it. Take care. Bye-bye.